All right, guys. So we're going to talk a little bit about the hood that recently uh, was put onto the charger. Now, first, I want to say thank you to Iconic Graphics, uh, not for just not just for doing a, a great job with the wrap, but also coming up with a really awesome idea uh, to show off the body lines of this really cool hood. Now, for those of you that don't know, this is what they call a killer bee hood, and it's a Viper inspired design, but it's much beefier, bulkier. Uh, the, the hood scoop right here is a lot more exaggerated and it gives more clearance uh, if you ever decide to supercharge your car and whatnot. So um, as far as engine temperatures and all that kind of good stuff, uh, I really haven't, uh, I, I don't have any feedback just yet, but there is plenty of ventilation and air rushing into that engine bay. Now right here I have a list of a bunch of questions, comments that you guys uh, you know, have, have, uh, show, you know, kind of given me, and I kind of want to address a bunch of them. Uh, hopefully it helps you, you know, with, uh, your modding journey, if you will. popular is how much was it uh, now this was normally priced at uh, almost a thousand dollars and you know I'm not really one to ever pay full price so I saw it on sale for $7.99 uh, I contacted the company and they gave me a discount so if you're looking for a discount on this at checkout just use RT life uh, there's there's an area uh, all the way at the bottom you just put that discount code in and it's basically similar in prices to what I paid now I got a really good deal on shipping with this so that's something that you would need to iron out but when all is said and done uh, definitely you know I, I didn't pay anywhere close to a thousand dollars so um, I would be paying ballpark of what you would be paying um, so the next one is about installation uh, so for installing this, it's actually really easy, but you're gonna want an extra set of hands. Uh, the hood uses the exact, uh, everything from your stock hood transfers over to this. So you don't need to get any extra nuts, bolts, nothing, okay? So you take your old one off, put the new one on. Um, so let's talk about the fitment, because fitment is something that, um, that many of these aftermarket hoods uh, have an issue with. Um, so take a look at the, the uh, fitment all around and you'll, you'll see that there's really not that bad of a gap uh, on the sides and um, in the front. Uh, typically when you see an aftermarket hood, uh, you'll, you'll see a, a much inconsistent gapping and everything. But I wanna give credit again to Iconic Graphics uh, for kind of blending this hood a little bit nicer so that uh, you really can't see the inconsistency in the lines. I'm going to show you, take a look at this graphic right here. It's a, a black gloss and we did that so that when the, the hood is closed, you really don't notice the, the, uh, the body, the, the gap in the inlet right here. So. I don't know. So that's really the fitment of, of the hood. I have to say that it really did fit nicely. I think we, we only needed one or two adjustments out of that. Um, now this, this is not carbon fiber. This is fiberglass. So uh, it weighs, according to them, about 30 pounds. And I have to say, this is a lot lighter than um, a stock hood, 
but it's also not as light as carbon fiber. So this is definitely a, uh, a kind of an in-between between your stock hood and a carbon fiber. So um, some of the issues uh, I will be addressing in a later video, but one of the biggest issues that I have is that the windshield wiper uh, spray needs I need to do like a relocator kit or something uh, I haven't decided how I'm gonna handle the um, the wiper fluid situation at this particular point I have it snugged in here so I'm gonna get a relocator kit most likely I'll run it to the windshield wipers and and have that connected um, the second issue is with these vents, uh, take a look at these vents. Uh, you, when it rains, uh, water does get into the the engine. So it basically rained all yesterday and into the night. So everything is completely drenched. What we're gonna do is pop the hood and see how the uh, the intake is, because I do have an exposed air intake and we're gonna see the water come flying out from the bottom here a lot of the 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 vents they uh, they channel the water into the front here and then when you lift the hood you just have to be careful all the water doesn't go splattering there it goes So the air filter is looking pretty damn good. Not bad at all. And I have to say that the overall design of the way that uh, these vents are, are in here, very minimal amount of water gets in here. But if you do have an exposed air intake, I'm telling you, your, your air filter will get uh, a little wet and that is that is a situation that I am going to be uh, figuring out I'm gonna make a video on some of the options that you have if you if you go out and get a, a sniper hood a killer bee hood a Hellcat hood uh, I'm gonna go over a couple of solutions that that will will help you um, now the last thing is the bulge uh, from from inside the cabin a lot of people wanted to know how big this this bulge really is uh, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you right now it's definitely more pronounced than a Hellcat oh there's the little lady but this is about ride height so you, you could see that this, there's definitely a something there uh, and it looks great so it's not too big. It's not going to restrict your your visibility by any any stretch of the imagination. Um, so that kind of concludes a lot of the the questions that I received about the hood. Uh, if I burn through something on this list that. Uh, maybe you have additional questions feel free to put it in the comments below um, in the next couple of video I don't know when I'm gonna address it but like I said I'm going to address the whole open air intake on this thing uh, give you guys some options in case you choose to upgrade your hood um, overall my experience has been unbelievable BMC uh, really has a nice hood on their hands I love the fitment Everything, the installation was super easy. Uh, and again, Iconic Graphics freaking nailed it. Nailed the the the, uh, the, the graphics on here, or the, the wrap. Overall, very happy. Uh, and for the most part, if, if this right here cost me around $1,000 to do. So to me, it was well worth it. Uh, so, all right guys, if you have any additional questions, definitely put it in the comments below and uh, I was looking at my statistics 77% of the people that watch the videos 
are not subscribed. So uh, definitely take this opportunity to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, all that kind of YouTube jam stuff. All right, that's it. All right, guys, so welcome to RT Life. If you uh, haven't, you know. Okay, all right, guys, so we're gonna talk a little bit about the hood that 